Today we got a BMW X3. Good customer bought it. They liked my uh, wife's car, so they bought one similar to it. This one here has been involved in a crash, and they thought they had all the damage repaired. We found a lot of suspension damage from the forks that were used to move the car around at the salvage auction. And all of a sudden they were driving it and they started hearing a loud scraping noise from the front. So they brought it right in and they found, uh, we found that the motor support, which is this bracket right here, the side support, the bolt right there had broken and broke off the casting and with the, 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 what you're looking at now is a new casting this is the old one and you can see where it broke away it's an aluminum casted piece and it snapped right out of there and when it did it dropped down so <coughs> I drilled it out, the broken bolt, I drilled it out. Uh, being an aluminum block, you can be very careful. And um, it's, it's supported, most of the thread is supported by this webbing, if you can see there. But they're not really, not really the um, strongest way to do it. Get my light in there. I think you can see it. There we go. All right, so these bolts look just like this. They've got this webbing around them. So you lose enough, a lot of your support of the bolt. And since it was busted, I drilled it in as deep as I could. I measured the depth of the other bolt holes and bottom tapped it and put in a helicoil. And that was good. But I know it's not gonna be strong enough to support the, the torque of the engine. So what I did was, I custom fabricated this bracket. It's um, 3 8 metal, inch and a half. And uh, I welded it all the way around as you can see. And actually, in between the two pieces, there's an eighth inch piece of flat stock. That's because I had to account for the casting has this small divot where it sets away from the block. You can just see it. And it's, it doesn't show that well in the picture, but it is actually measured approximately an eighth inch. So, <clears throat> by spe spacing that that much and utilizing these other two bolts, there's two bolts in the block that aren't used on a different application, I suppose they're used. So, it's going to set in like so. I'll get a bolt and put it in there. Kind of hard to see this and watching the camera too. All right, get this started. And I'll put another bolt in. Now, the likelihood that somebody else is going to need to know how to do this repair is probably. <laughs> Fairly slim, I suppose, in the whole universe. Somebody else will run into this because this ain't the first or last BMW X3 that's going to be involved in a crash. But that being said, I've done this kind of a procedure many times before. Now, when I put this together, finally, of course, there'll be washers and 
lock washers and lock tight on the bolts. But that's what the bracket's gonna look like. And what it'll do is take these two bolts, which are still good thread and still unused, it's gonna be bolted tight so you get full support of the engine block. And then it actually captures the, the casting, the aluminum casting uh, engine support and it should hold everything nice and tight and, it, and it'll help hold that helicoil from pulling out. The helicoil now being compressed in with this piece and there'll be a certain wedging factor. I've set it up so it's going to fit a little bit snug as it draws in and that'll help hold that helicoil and uh, keep the bolt in place. And this should have a good fix. Um, considered, I considered welding up the block, but I would have had to weld way into the, uh, way outside the webbing, and I'm not sure what it would do to the expansion and contraction of the block, and I didn't want to have any further damage. So we're going to put this little support brace on there. It's uh, American Ingenuity. Um, you got to make do with what you have and uh, using those two bolts it should carry the load of that uh, engine support without uh, failing so I've done this on other other vehicles in the past um, everything from Chevrolet Ford Austin Healey even one time so uh, never give up never give up there's always a way to fix Till next time.